we have to have more people and more leaders who understand you do not fix a systemic and intentional failure with individual agency. My name is Janice Allison. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I like the diversity of it. Because if you want to create a capitalist system, a successful capitalist system, you don't want poor black people and poor white people living in the same neighborhood. I came expecting just to hear about the Angela Project, but I got so much more. I got information on how cities are planned, which was a real revelation to me. I got information on schooling. I got so much more than I expected, and I'm glad I'm here. I'll have to go home and contemplate and think about it to really understand all that I've heard. but. I think from here, it'll give me an opportunity to move in a direction of actually get involved in civil liberties for us. 100 years of delay have passed since President Lincoln freed the slaves, yet their heirs, their grandsons, are not fully free. They are not yet freed from the bonds of injustice. They are not yet, not yet freed from social and economic oppression, and this nation for all its hopes and all its boasts will not be fully free until all its citizens are free. In 1963, a century after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, America was still divided. Segregation kept blacks and whites in separate worlds that were anything but equal. It would take the loss of life of young and innocent children to shock America into taking a stand for justice. On the morning of September 15th, just as Sunday school classes were ending, dynamite ripped through the 16th Street Church. Five girls in the basement of the church were buried under 30-inch thick walls, and four of them died. The nation was appalled. The need for change was painfully clear. The tide of support for civil rights swelled, blowing into Washington, pushing the passage of the Civil Rights Act and and the Voters Act the following year. It was the innocent hope, bravery, and sacrifice of children that revived the movement and changed the future of a nation. Join us for the Angela Project, June 19, 2019, in Birmingham, Alabama, at the historic 16th Street Baptist Church, the site of a great national tragedy for our country to commemorate the 400th anniversary of American slavery. The Angela Project confronts racism in our current day and age and is a place for us to speak into as Baptists, as Christians, as those who are concerned about the impact of racial injustice in our country. After Charlottesville, the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship penned a statement beginning with these words. This moment requires more from us as churches and as a nation. As Dr. King reminds us, the great tragedy is not the strident clamor of bad people, but the appalling silence of good people. Silence is not an option. Silence is not Christian. Silence is an affront to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we will not be silent about the ravages of racial injustice now and in the days to come. Join us for the Angela Project, June 19, 2019. Be there and show up for justice. You can, you can run this